So I had a lot of feedback on my Instagram story about the photoshopping tutorials. So I decided that I would first start with this one, the one I posted yesterday. Over 200 of you actually voted to get me to do more of this. So there's obviously an interest. So I thought that I would just show you something basic, which is the post The post I did yesterday. It's a, it's a pretty basic tutorial on, uh, on how to remove an arm if there's or just an object of any kind that kind of gets in your shot and you need to get rid of it good photography especially event photography and wedding photography it depends on a lot of factors uh, and things just go wrong sometimes you know you can't really help it for example this this shot that i'm photoshopping we were about 20 minutes late to the ceremony so we were trying to rush to get a couple portraits of susan and her daughter hannah and the thing is, you know, if you've ever been around babies, they, they're not like regular people. They don't really listen to what you have to say. So this initial shot that I took of them together was kind of a test shot, but it was the only shot in the sequence that Hannah was actually looking at me. So it's like, it's a really beautiful portrait. The only problem was they were still prepping for the photos. And uh, I, I don't know who it was, but someone was helping Susan with her veil. She was helping to straighten it out. So her arm is in the shot. And uh, so no problem. Uh, Photoshop is just another tool we have as photographers in our arsenal. And if you use it correctly, it could be very beneficial to your work. So let's get started on this one. Okay guys, so this is the photo. We have this arm right here just hanging out. And we have this beautiful portrait of Susan and Hannah. So this is what we're trying to accomplish right here. We're just going to get rid of that arm using the clone stamp tool. Now, first things we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the, the layer that we're editing because we don't want to be destructive. We don't want to do any destructive edits on that uh, initial image. So in case we need to go back at any point, that will be available. So we have this copy right here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the quick selection tool. Not the magic wand. The magic wand you make you make one click and it, it just grabs something, right? And it's not it's not going to grab her whole veil like we want. Quick selection is very effective at reading similar colors in a photo and just grouping them into a selection. So this photo is perfect for this tool. This tool won't work in all all your photoshopping, but for this photo we have a black background and her veil is white and then the arm that's hanging out is pink. So being able to grab this veil and only this veil is pretty easy for Photoshop to do. As you can see, the, the selection is very nice. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the uh, opposites. So right now, right now we're selecting her veil. So if we're going to do edits, for example, it's going to be editing on her, on her veil, right? Does that make sense? We don't want that, obviously. We want to be editing this part of the image. So what we need to do is right click and select inverse. So now it's not selecting her veil. It's selecting everything outside her veil. What we're going to use for this is the clone stamp tool. Because the background is so uniform, we can just select a part of the background with the, with the uh, clone stamp tool. What you have to do is uh, alt and then left click to select an area that you want to copy and then just color over the arm pretty easy. There are uh, some downsides to the uh, clone stamp though. It's just a straight copy. So as you can see, you can see some lines. You can see the, uh, the difference in the colors, right? You can see this big black splotch right here. So it doesn't, it, you can tell that that was Photoshop. Um, there's another tool, it's called the Healing Stamp Tool, right here. I'm sorry, the heal Healing Brush Tool, actually. Now this tool is really good. Uh, it's the same, it works the same way as the clone, uh, the clone Stamp Tool. The only difference is it kind of tries to blend everything together. So for example, if we're trying to, if we're trying to copy her hair, it kind of blends it into her skin a little bit instead of just a straight copy. We don't want to do that, obviously. What we want to do is blend these two blacks together. So again, we alt and click over here in an area, 
and just drag over that line and then we drag over this black slot as you can see it kind of blends everything together so it just looks it looks like nothing was edited in that area so that's pretty much that. I mean, you could go from there and that's it. It's pretty, pretty simple. It's just, I am a perfectionist. So if I look at an image, I know that no one's going to know that there was an arm back here, but I like to just fix it up to where it looks perfect. So also this veil, there's a couple little spots that just could be, could be straightened out. So I'm just going to go down the line and just get rid of any of these little bumps that are coming up. Not bad, not bad. Uh, so the next thing I want to do on this image is because the arm lens behind her veil, you can kind of see through it and see the arm. Uh, it, has a, it has a color to it, it has that pink color. So what I want to use is desaturate. So you go to the sponge tool, make sure it's on desaturate and not saturate. Saturate will give it more uh, color. Desaturate will take the color away. So you just kind of desaturate that arm back there so that it's just the color of the veil. And then we have a little bit of texture from the shirt. So I want to actually copy some of this veil. This, this part of the veil doesn't have an arm behind it, so you can copy that and just paste it down here. Using, again, we're using the healing brush tool. So if you guys enjoyed that tutorial or if you learned anything from it, you can like, obviously, comment, share the video, and that way I can see there's, a, there's some engagement, there's some demand, and I'll definitely create some more of these Photoshop tutorials for you guys in the future. Also, you can go like the video on YouTube, and if you can, subscribe to my YouTube. That would really help me out a lot. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.